see how the Japanese players advance the metagame in Smash 5. Because like, it right. always feels like the, the Japanese players are the guys who, who discovered and implemented that tech faster than America. Like, you, you could talk about Kamime at EVO 2016, really coming out of nowhere with the Mega Man still tech. No one thought that would be like incredibly practically viable in tournament. Yeah. But pulling it out in bracket as well. And you well, can talk about Kamehameha. Abadongo with a near, near footstool disable with Mewtwo at Pound 2016, coming out of nowhere, mm. taking everyone by surprise. But also, two other characters take pretty high tech skill, especially Toon Link as well with all, as many projectiles as he has in his arsenal. Can make it pretty hard for a character, even as Lucina with the district, to get in. But some neat item play coming in here from Biddy and Reptile. We have two competitors. Biddy representing Third Sense Gaming here from New Jersey. Ooh. And they got a Wisconsin's own Reptile. I saw him a little bit earlier playing uh, a few swordsmen today. Oh my Returning goodness. boomerang. Okay, not going to get the up air, but right now Biddy. Going off on a tear at the moment, even trying to get a spike in with this down air. And working with the zero to death here is Biddy, 80% unanswered for Reptile. It's just, it doesn't even feel like he knows how to do, uh, use these, uh, get into these projectiles, kind of being overwhelmed here by Biddy, but finally giving himself some time to calm down here with the grab. Stifing him out with this up, oh sorry, forward air. That forward air, one of like the safest schools, you can do like a full hop forward air in a safe little distance. And if you can stand in that particular range where you cannot allow Toon Link to pull these bombs, like this range, like two character lengths away, all that Toon Link can really do is this Zare, but turn around with a forward smash, excellent gameplay so far from Biddy. Not looking at all slowed down, even when Reptile's been able to close the distance a little bit, and nice returning combo! Gotta love it, bomb it into up air from Toon Link, that move is deceptively strong, but it's been strong for a while, even back in the melee days. So, uh, still representing here in Smash 4. Reptile ready to get back into the action though. Here, putting some good damage on, putting Biddy into an edge guard situation, but it, Biddy coming straight off the ledge with some aggression with the up smash. And now this is where these leads can snowball for Toon Link. If Toon Link can just continue to keep you playing at that distance he likes, like the, the about half stage distance away, where I can establish a lot of pressure it's and safely yeah, as and well. Lucina, of course, has that I was like, no, okay dash speed, the fast walk speed. That's what you're going to really need in this matchup is to, to close the gap by walking and then able to shield out of that really quickly and then choose your options. Ooh, my goodness, some fancy item play on shield here coming from Biddy, using it to put some really nice pressure. Trying to get an up smash there. Trying to up beat out of the combo as well, but uh, a, bit too, uh, a bit too presumptuous with it. Trying to get from there. Baiting out the up B, but not going to get a punish for it here is Biddy. Ooh, the Zeri to up smash? I've never seen that coming from a two link before, but some neat meta stuff. Oh, but the Smashville platform betrays Biddy. Mm -hmm. Sending him away from the second hit. Staying in shield here, though, is Reptile. Very, very smart. Sitting with 110 Rage on a 130 Toon Link, but that Rage goes the other way as well. You see Biddy getting a high percent two stock here on Reptile. We saw this. We saw a similar matchup here. Where we saw uh, Fonz on Mario mm -hmm. versus Tialorio on Toon Link in the last block. And what happens sometimes in this matchup, I think, yeah. against any character that doesn't have like a serious projectile game, like Marco Cena. Mario does have the fireball, but it's not like a really reliable projectile mm, versus the slow. onslaught that Toon Link can lay out. Mm -hmm. uh, is these leads can snowball in both directions. Mm -hmm. So like if if Mario or Marth or Lucina gets the lead, they can just be aggressively closing the distance with Toon Link and just smother him that way. But if Toon Link gets the lead, he can just run around. And we saw actually Mario win that game too in that matchup on Battlefield. Let's see if it works out here for Reptile as well. Mm -hmm. And switching to the Marth, maybe uh, wants those few pixels extra height that Marth has to put some a uh, little bit more range on these tippers to be looking for. Sitting in shield a whole lot more here, though. The first stock of the first game, we did not see him in shield all too much, and that was what let, he, let Biddy get those combos that he gets with the bombs. We're Mixing coming. up these uh, projectiles on the platform, on the left and right platform pretty well right now is Biddy, but he's going to get the chance to pull this bomb off that forward smash. He's in the uh, upward angled boomerang to try and just intercept this Marth. He's trying to start a, a platform-based offense right now. A bit more projectile coverage, not sending him close enough to get the forward air off of it. A forward air of his own coming from Reptile, saying he's still in this game. Biddy isn't finding the conversions that he's been getting in game one, too. It looks like he's uh, DIing a little bit better. Yeah, Here's this could be a good adaptation from mm -hmm. Reptile at the moment. And trying to get the ledge trap in? No, okay. Toon Link being really sneaky with that roll behind. 
Ooh, just a raw up smash and neutral, catching the landing from Reptile. Bob on shield looking for the jump here, gonna catch another jump. The thing is with Marth, you really need to use his, uh, his grounded movement that he has uh, in his kit. It's very, very nice. And he's been catching a whole lot of the uh, punishes that he has on the uh, air whenever we see Reptile jumping as we saw him catch the forward smash through a jump as well. Reptile thought he could hold that Dolphin Slash and he would get the uh, aggressive hit in disadvantage. That's going to be Biddy getting the forward smash punished. Not enough to kill from across battlefield. And these he's scary Tomahawks dude. are nuts. He's around that shield. A bit more aerial pressure catching a bomb of his own. Canceling out the other one that Biddy had. Pretty uh, quick awareness. The up B might have been uh, a bit too early. Didn't see a combo come up from Biddy to uh, warrant it. But not going to get punished for it anyway. All right, Reptile closing the gap Ooh. again. And that tipper was very powerful in the lightweight Toon Link. And oh, I thought you could be able to confirm out of that down tilt. But it did not poke low enough to seal anything. Ooh, the tipper forward air sending him far away, but Battlefield might be the saving grace here with those huge blast zones that it has. Some serious aerial movement coming in from both of them. Again, catching the landing here. That seems like he was making his money, but Reptile getting a stock of his own here. Finally taking one in this set in this game, too. Again, trying to start this offense from these side platforms is Reptile. Because it, it offers us a good angle, but you see how also Toon Link can protect himself with that platform. Now there's no way for an aggressive landing straight onto Toon Link because of where the battlefield platform presents itself. And that allows, uh, excuse me, Biddy to just really pressure greatly horizontally with all of his projectile game. Actually trading out there, the drop animation that you might get whenever you hit somebody holding a projectile actually helping Biddy out there as he's getting hit. Ooh, the item play at the ledge, though, not going to catch Reptile one step ahead. Well, that air dodge into the stage was maybe an opportunity, but the returning boomerang a little late. Not going to lead to a huge conversion, and just resetting the situation is Biddy, but we got a shield breaker thinking threatening. About it. He's thinking about it, man. Pretty even game. Coming into the, uh, the second leg of this match, over three minutes have already passed. Much slower game than game one, mm -hmm. for sure, but we saw how that worked out for Biddy. You have, to, you have to think this is a definitely a better position for Reptile right now. Mm -hmm. And you might be able to attribute that to Battlefield's Blast Zones as well. Both of these players have been had some pretty close calls in the magnifying glass, but no dice yet on two stocks. Yeah, those are mostly on the first stock, all those close calls. Yep. Good shielding here from Reptile. He's, he's mixing in, I think, those walks a bit, mm -hmm. finding the perfect shield opportunities onto these, uh, these projectiles when they're at an unsafe distance. Trying to cover the option there, but Biddy ready with the jump off of the ledge, finding himself in advantage now. Ooh, there's the up out of shield that he's been working on so much. Uh, gonna find his mark there. Hadn't seen it too much earlier. Not really the kill move that we see it sometimes in melee. Yes. But it, you, definitely effective, definitely one of the fastest options Marth has to stifle these close range punishes. Yeah, you see him going for it right there. Going to ledge, making it a little bit more safe. And this is sort of the percent where you might think a Martha up throw might kill with this much rage. Now it should? Yeah, might not even rely on it now. Ooh, pressuring so close. Both of them going to make it back with their stocks. By oh, the skin of their teeth, though. Yeah, this is tense now. Okay, Ooh. that backer going to buy a lot of time for Reptile. Pressuring this ledge, though, with the empty hops. Biddy just barely making it back. The uppie again taking, and you hear the boys popping off. Wisconsin is here for Reptile. They want their boy to win, and he does even up this set. Uh, and as soon as I mentioned that you don't see Dolphin slash kill, there like he goes. does in melee. Goodbye. But he gets the tipper, and he gets the right direction on Battlefield. The Game 3 counter pick will be in Biddy's pocket, but he returns to Battlefield. What do you think of that? Um, I don't know. I think giving Reptile more time to live, because, like, Toon Link really relies on his conversions going off the top, so I think maybe he can go to Town and City, even Smashville, but not, not, not Battlefield, man. He's given too much time. It's really allowed this Marth to just live for very long. But he's not going to have the opportunity to return to, I believe, Smashville was game one. Mm. So here we go. All right, sneaking back onto the stage. We probably have another long, drawn-out game between these two players ahead of us. A little bit of an adaptation, though, coming from Reptile. I hadn't seen Dancing Blade too much in that second game. So the third game, making a little bit of a movement, catching the landings with it. Being tricky here, using all of your wall jumps, all sorts of mix-up opportunities. A lot of ways for Toon Link to get back onto the ledge. And 
coming off of the ledge as well. That bomb and up air putting some great damage here. Still finding himself in a pretty uh, pretty good percent deficit, especially being this early in the game. And there it is. Bees, man. But falling up air to up air is a combo for a lot of characters, not just Clouds and, and Bayonettas and all the, all the top tiers. You see Toon Link able to pull it off here. Pretty even game coming out here, though. You see Reptile trying to pressure once Ooh. again the bomb. Ooh, not going to get the spike, though. The Dolphin Slash able to beat him out of it. Scary stuff, but okay, landing with Zara appears to be an option. Banshee, or sorry, Reptile is taking away from this Toon Link. Usually pretty unpunishable, Ooh. but right now, Mart's moving. The DBZ! It's sm it's smash and splash, man. What do you expect from, th from this tournament? I'm just saying. If there's anywhere I thought I was gonna see a DBZ, it, it'd be Smash and Splash. I thought it'd be in Dragon Ball Fighter Z over maybe, on the maybe. other side of the venue, but <laughs> nah. this is as close as it can be, and this is just round two pools. This isn't even top 64 yet. We got a lot of games left to go. And a lot if they're all this intense, I'm excited, yeah. Script. A lot more games and a lot more talent here as we see them beating up on each other. We see Biddy putting a nice edge guard together, but fighting his back for some real estate as Reptile. Ooh, Boomerang, watch out. Lingering back there, but can always do some damage, leading to a confirm. Ooh, good pressure. Double forward air coming in from Reptile. Trying to find another one, but will not. Yeah, that bomb buying a lot of space for Toon Link, and this grab Ooh. is going to do the same. The center of Battlefield is now property of the Wind Waker Kid. Mm -hmm. Haven't seen too many uh, grabs coming out from Biddy this entire set as well. I like the, uh, the mix-up. If he misses a tether grab, he gets a tipper Ooh. forward smash. So uh, it's big definitely bonus. understandable. Ooh, just a quick forward tilt, getting him off the stage, putting him back into another edge guard. Able to get back to stage for free, though, is Biddy. Just applying this consistent pressure with the boomerangs and bombs, making it a very hard time for Reptile to get into the space. But that fair gonna buy the time he needs, potentially. Oh, that's the bomb fair, but across battlefield, this Mart's gonna live. Yeah, no dice across battlefield. The bomb's keeping him at this ledge, though. 118, 122 after the hit. Ooh, okay, trying to, get the roll. trying to get the cross up here. Oh my god, he had the roll just not too far away. The Dolphin Slash once again not going to do him quite yet. Again, the two count. The weight on that was brilliant from Biddy, knowing the counter was going to come out to play. We hadn't seen that option the entire set either. Crowd absolutely on their feet, pressuring with these empty hops. This Reptile realizing he is one tipper away from taking this set. There's the tipper he might have been looking for. A great edge here coming here from the left. Who saves the jump. Fantastic tech from Biddy. And that fair somehow missed. Ooh. Oh, that was so close. Resetting neutral here. Biddy trying to play the aggressor. Finally finding a hit. Not going to lead into much. Looking for a grab, though. You see Reptail. Able to retreat brilliantly to that top. Oh! oh that challenge comes through. New Jersey takes it. My goodness. And a hug coming out from the boys of all Rios. And they put everything on the line. Those two competitors looking great. Respect. That's respect right there. They res that's respecting your opponent. I, I, I love it, man. It's, that's what you love to see. And the New Jersey champ.